like a perfume woman the wind blows in the bunkhouse like a perfume woman smelling of where she's been smelling of Oregon cherry or maybe Texas avocado or maybe Arizona sugar beet the wind blows in and she sings to me cause I'm Gets to feeling too soft and cozy when the grub they've been cooking me gets to tasting too good. When I've had all I want of the ladies in the neighborhood, she sings, Joey, Joey, Joey. Joey, Joe, you've been too long in one place, and it's time to go, time to go. Alternate ending time. This time what I'm gonna do is a contemporary sound, which is gonna mean open vowels and straight tone, way more speaky. Here we go. Joey, Joey, Joe. Kinda liked it. All right, for those of you who are curious, I'm gonna break down what I'm doing in between those two sounds. On that first video with the way more classical sound, not my greatest, I think that's a E, not my greatest E natural, little bit of air blowing through the folds so there's not a really sealed sound. What I would want that to sound like would be this. Joy! Joy, joy. And on that last one, I don't know if the mic is going to pick this up. You can hear I start to blow a little bit. Air starts to push through the folds and we lose that seal. So all that I'm doing in between that one and this one. Joey, Joey, Joey. And if history is correct or is a likely predictor, that's probably a little bit under because I'm not used to singing 
in straight tonin with that contemporary sound, that thinned out, lack of vibrato, way more speaky sound. When I get it right, I get it right, and I have a trusted set of ears who helps me. He's like, eh, a little bit more of this, a little bit more of this. Work in progress. Anyway, all that I'm doing there is I am removing the percentage of oo, pure oo, from that first O. And that allows for a little bit more of an open vowel sound and it distinguish or it diminishes the effect of the turn, the tilt in the larynx that the oo really helps to kick in. When you're going up through the passaggio, or really if you have ooh informed in your voice at all, you're gonna be in a way more tilted position, which is what we want in the classical genre of musical theater and in opera as a whole. With the contemporary sound, we still wanna have a tilted, balanced, suspended larynx that's flexible and can do whatever we want, but we don't want as much of that ooh in there because it's gonna create that sound. So remove the ooh, but we want to keep everything else the same. We'll remove a percentage, a large percentage of the ooh, and then we're just left with this brighter, because if we remove the ooh, then maybe we're going to go a little bit more towards, a little bit more towards ah. Not even necessarily bright Italianate ah, ah, but ah, like A-W. And then if I were to be speaking in that more classical form, the way that I was singing, I would be saying, Joey, Joey, hey, Joey. But Joey, we're over there. Joey, 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 Joe. It's exactly the same on pitch. That's it. Try it out. The sensations for me way, way, way more behind the cheekbones. If I say the M word, people, well, whatever. Behind the mask, in the mask, is where that is predominantly my sense, uh, where I'm predominantly experiencing this sensation. And I have a lot less of the vacuum effect that you feel when you go, Joey, Joey. I, I kind of like that one. That one felt right. That's where I had basically the, the tornado all the way up from right behind my pubic bone up to the top of my skull. Let me see what it sounds like if I do that tornado but speaky. Jump! No, it's, see, it's too immediately, maybe it sounded okay or it was gonna sound okay, but I can hear immediately it's too, uh, uh, too corked. Anyway, I'm trying to figure out classical to contemporary myself. All I offer is observations on the path. Go forth and speak boldly.